In this video, we're going to show you just how easy it is to install a Blue Ridge Do-It-Yourself ductless mini split, providing you with heating and cooling wherever you need it. The Blue Ridge Do-It-Yourself mini split arrives in two boxes. The larger one contains the outdoor unit and a wall sleeve. The smaller box contains the indoor wall unit along with the pre-charged refrigerant lines and wiring already connected. Also included are the remote, manuals, and mounting hardware. Read the installation manual carefully for best results. You can order the optional Wi-Fi kit, which will allow you to control the unit with a smartphone app, whether you're at home or away. To prepare for the installation, first assemble all of the tools and supplies you'll need. This includes a Phillips screwdriver, a drill and drill bits, a three and five eighths inch hole saw, a level, a spray bottle with soapy water, two adjustable wrenches, wall anchors, hex or allen keys, and insulating foam. The Blue Ridge DIY air handler has 25 feet of pre-charge refrigerant line, which gives you flexibility in determining the location of your outdoor unit. Use a level, mounting plate, and a pencil to mark the screw locations. Drill holes on your pencil marks and tap in the included wall anchors. Insert and tighten the screws to secure the bracket to the wall. Now make a hole to the outside for the refrigerant lines, drain pipe, and control wiring to pass through. Here, we're using a masonry bit and hammer drill, but for a frame house, an ordinary drill and hole saw will work. Measure four inches from the lower right edge of the mounting bracket and mark the location of the center of your three and five eighths inch hole. The bottom of that hole should be just a bit higher than the bottom of the mounting bracket so that the unit completely covers the hole. Be sure to maintain a downward angle as you drill through the wall for proper drainage. Insert the provided wall sleeve and prepare to pass the bundled lines through. Unspool the lines being careful not to kink the copper. With the lines passed outside, you're ready to mount the indoor unit. Hang the indoor unit from the lip at the top of the mounting bracket. Gently flex the cover over the bottom of the bracket, then apply pressure until it clicks into place. Now you can move to the outside part of the installation. Select a condenser location that is convenient and close enough for the 25 feet of line set. A weatherproof condenser pad is an accessory option that keeps the unit off the ground. Attach the condenser feet with lag bolts. Coil up any excess line set and place it behind the unit. Line set covers are an accessory that improves the appearance of your installation. Attach the backing with wall anchors. Use spray foam to seal the hole to the outside, then snap on the outer line set covers. Remove the panels covering the wiring and refrigerant line connections. The refrigerant lines are two different sizes with color-coded protective caps so you can't mix them up. Remove the caps and start the compression nuts by hand making sure not to cross thread. Once they're hand tight, use two wrenches to secure them completely. Next, remove the protective brass valve caps covering the refrigerant valves. Use an Allen wrench to release the refrigerant by rotating the valves counterclockwise until they stop. Use a spray bottle filled with soapy water to check the copper connections for leaks. If you see any bubbling, tighten the connection until no bubbles form. Replace the line set connection cover. Making the wire connections to the indoor unit is as simple as attaching the ground wire and then the snap connector. Now you can connect to your home's power supply. The outdoor unit will require a dedicated circuit breaker in your home's electrical panel. Run to a disconnect box mounted to the outside wall near your condenser. There's a wiring diagram inside the wire connection cover that shows the proper connections. Be sure to follow local electrical codes or hire a professional for the electrical part of the installation. With the electrical and refrigerant connections made, head back inside, power up the unit, and turn it on. For a finishing touch, you can paint the line set cover to match the exterior of your home. Use zip ties to bundle the excess line and affix it to the wall. Congratulations, you just did it yourself. Having installed a Blue Ridge Do-It-Yourself ductless mini-split heat pump air conditioner, you'll now enjoy whisper quiet year-round comfort and savings. 